So looking to the south, there are a number of issues uh, in Africa, on the African continent, uh, that are of interest and of concern to us. And those issues are not gender neutral. The importance of today's workshop is to build a bridge between Women in Peace and Security, which is a NATO organization, and FEMWISE, which is an African Union organization connected throughout the African continent on the issue of gender equality and security and stability. Le FEMWISE est un réseau de, de femmes médiatrices du continent africain. FEMWISE vient sous le, 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 ce qu'on appelle le Panel of the Wise, qui est euh, un panel composé de sages euh, africains euh, qui sont composés d'anciens premiers ministres, d'anciens présidents, qui ont euh, une voix au niveau de l'Afrique et qui ont une certaine euh, influence sur le continent africain. Donc, par rapport à ça, euh, le, le, il y a eu une décision euh, à impliquer plus les femmes dans la médiation euh, et la résolution de conflits en Afrique. We have a room full of diverse women from every region in Africa with a diverse background. We have human rights activists, we have government representatives, we have business people in the room. So there's just a divergent of opinions which is, uh, has made the conversation quite enlightening. And as such, I think NATO and the African Union pretty much share a vision. We, we all have people-centered discussions, we have we think about inclusion, we're thinking about peace and prosperity. So our collaboration beyond just the military sphere, for talking about um, more substantive issues for us on gender-related issues, on youth-related issues, to talk about sustainability of peace is of utmost importance to us. And uh, we hope that uh, uh, if the principles of the two organizations uh, uh, agree, they, there will be a memorandum of understanding of some sort which actually defines the activities for cooperation. So we would like to see this uh, workshop as a stepping stone to future partnerships that will continue. We recognize that women come from different backgrounds and most of these backgrounds sometimes they are characterized by hardships, sometimes they are characterized by different operating environment, conflict situations. So dancing is part of that therapeutic process to heal but also to connect. Uh, it's part of the human connection. What connects us is bigger than what divides us. 